Here's Nancy as a Girl Scout. Rick getting to be quite a young man. Here's Leotha picking on a Siamese cat. Martha hated that cat, and the cat didn't live with us very long. We still have couches that the cat has put claw marks on. He'd climb everything and scratch everything, and he loved Martha, but she hated him. Here's a Christmas stocking time again, Christmas 1962. And the Siamese cat's still there. There's Bobby, Nancy. Nancy's really growing up. There's Aunt, Jane, Aunt Gladys. She's showing off her Christmas garters. This is Galveston again, the steamboat ride on the Mississippi. And there again, we're in funicular ride in Colorado. Kids and I loved it. Martha would always wait in a car below. And then here's some Cherokee dancing in Colorado. Martha was partly Cherokee, so she was very fond of that. Martha told a tale when she was young of playing with a little girl in Colorado and uh, being scared of this big Indian down the road. And the little girl finally said, that's no Indian, that's my father. So Martha was very fond of that story. And here's some more scenes of Colorado. I don't know just where they are, but uh, impressive mountains. Here's a flood on Gibson Road. The boys, Nancy took advantage of it with their bikes. Luckily, we were on high ground and nothing ever flooded the house. But. Uh, There's Martha, Nancy, really growing up. And Jane and Bobby and I don't know who the cat is. But there's Nancy and a little girl across the street. I think it's Valerie Newman. We're very fond of the Newmans. And here's our horses we had. We rode them on play days and parades. This is a stock show parade. Very briefly here, Cherry is uh, walking in this parade. And then Bobby is uh, also, there. he's very upset he didn't have his plume on. Cherry was a drum major at Pasco High. And uh, I think this is her right here coming up there. And there's the Everman High School Band again with Bobby in it. And there's Phil Newman and Nancy and Martha very briefly on their horses. Goldust was Martha's horse. Chris and Valerie were on Poncho. And there's uh, Phil Newman and Bobby. And there's, there's old Poncho with Chris and Valerie on. And there's 
old prince, and there's our little red Mustang, a 66 Mustang. That old Homer Hammerhead Prince, he was a quite a horse. He was affectionate, and Martha hated him. He'd come up and butter in the back, and she despised him. There's Chris and Valerie Newman on the, the horses. There's Phil galloping, showing off. Martha, no, that's uh, Chris Newman on Prince. She was quite a horse woman. And there's Kelly on Stormy. That was briefly Nancy's horse. And there's Paul trying to gallop a reluctant Prince. He, he didn't like all that weight on his back. And there's Bobby showing off Poncho. And here comes Nan on Stormy. Poor old Stormy was an old horse and he didn't last long. There's Martha on Gold Dust. He was a beautiful horse, but he was tended to run away. Here's the whole herd of our horses. Taking it to Al Finney's down behind the high school every month. They had about 50, 60 pas uh, acres of pasture down there and we kept the horses down there for several years. And we love the horses. But the kids got tired of them and I got where I'd get up at cold nights and have to go out and feed them, so we finally sold them. But it broke my heart when we did. Here's a big jump in years. This is Laura, born 1968. So this picture was taken in 68 or 69. Rick and Rosemary's taken in Okinawa, where Rick was stationed. Martha visited to help with Dan's birth there. This is view of the South China Sea. Japanese graveyard. And that's Laura. Starting another generation. In the South China Sea. Rick and Laura and Dan and Rosemary. There's uh, Dan and Laura. Laura was quite a busy little gal. Here she's dumping her puppies out of a bucket. I don't know how long they lived through that, but they uh, evidently survived. Here's the old printing center at 210 Jones. We stayed in that building to 1980. It was the old Bowman Biscuit building. It stood vacant many years before occupied by printing center. There's a job shop at 215 Jones and David's old brown truck sitting in front of it. That's Paul's new 1970 LTD and then a new Ford van we had. We liked that LTD so much we bought a second one. It was a marvelous car. Never took it back to the dealer. Put 100,000 miles on it. Here's the new house, the 6913 Sheridan. Martha loved it, the first real home she ever considered she had. And uh, she stayed in it until she died. It was a very, very nice house.